All right, welcome to Fun Education Network. Um, thank you for you know tuning in. Um, coming at you again. So, my little brother has just um, l learned about the Django movie. Um, he hasn't seen any really commercials on it, but he just saw the trial of it. So, I wanted to have a conversation with him about it. Maybe he'll see it, maybe he won't. You know? So, just wanted to have a conversation. What? So, you saw the clip of it. What was your view of what you saw? It's just a, a white man that saved that saved the boy named Django, yeah. and he was helping him kill the bad people. And it was a white man that killed that killed other white people because they were like, being bad. Yes. Okay. All right. So just by him just looking at that view of it. It was also about slavery. What do you know about slavery? Slaves pick cotton. Slaves pick cotton, okay. They get sold to another owner. They get sold to another owner, okay. So what are some of the things that are happen if they're bad? They'll get whipped. They'll get whipped. What else? Killed. Killed. Okay. How would they be killed? What are some of the things that will happen to them? They will get beaten. Mm -hmm. Or they will get shot. You get shot. You ever heard of lynching? So, that's when somebody takes a rope, ties around your neck, and you hang hanging from a tree. You ever seen any lynchings before? You ever seen any pictures of people hanging on trees? Oh yes. They um, they used to sing a song about that. It was written by a Jewish woman, and black people. Um, they were the main ones that really sung the song, but it was called Strange Fruit. They call it Strange Fruit because just like fruit hang from trees, it that we black as black people and other. I mean, they had other people. They had whites that hung from trees, but most of the black people, they would hang them from trees. And they would do it just basically so you'll know not to act up. Because if you see a black brother hanging from a tree, what do you think you would cry? You don't think you would cry? I know I would. <laughs> what if you saw me hanging from a tree when I was dead? You don't think you would cry? Because sometimes my feelings don't let my feelings don't let me cry. I don't cry. I'm sad sometimes. So I know I will cry because I don't know. It just my feelings do. It is like you remember seeing the movie about who? What? What did we see the movie on? That had Emmett Till. Emmett you saw I was crying on it, and you weren't. <laughs> it was sad, but it didn't touch you like that because, like, we know that when a person dies, what, what happens to them? You get buried. You'll never see them again. That's it. That's your never come back. And a child's mind doesn't really, not saying that yours doesn't yet, but. When you start off, you don't think about it from that perspective. Like if you have to ask your brother and sister about death, they don't think about it from that perspective. They just think they're dead. And, I mean, they'll see them again, I guess. I don't know. But as far as them being dead, and never, ever, ever, ever coming back again. Once you're dead, you're in that ground. That's it. That's all. <laughs> no more Dejan. No more Wesley. That's it. No more Emmett Till. Go ahead. He might, you yeah. know, God might be break us. Well, we don't know that until we go there. <laughs> so, as of now, what we know is that that's it. I mean, the truly only way that I know a person is rebirthed is through their seeds. And 
that's through children that you have. But that's not truly a rebirth. That's a piece of you. That's half of your chromosome and another person's half of their chromosome. But that's a little different. That's not full. Everything the same thing. It's still different. It's not deja. It's, it's a rebirth to deja. Alright? So, if you ever see this movie, the um, thing that I want you to know about is not only where we lynched, um, not only where we hang, hung from trees, you also had people that were, what they showed in the movie was the Django was hung upside down and they were about to castrate. You know what castration is? Cut it off. That means they cut your private parts off. And a lot of times, they did that to the slaves and they stuck it in the mouth. Or they fed them to other people. They did nasty, horrible things like that. They'll cut your foot off. Like they did in the roots. Cut your hand off. Like they did in what? Um, I don't think you've seen the Night Giant. They cut his finger off. And so, but they 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 cut people's hand off too. And when and this individual he was a runaway, so he had R put into his skin. Mm -hmm. That's good. And you also have brands that's put on you to let them know that you are my property. I mean, so it was a lot of horrible things. There was one person that they would tie a horse to him. And then it would stretch them out. It was another thing that they had some kind of machine that basically they would um, hook you to that machine. And that machine would basically just tear at your limbs. I mean, it's all, all these things happen in slavery. But out of all of that, we still have risen to the top. So Maya Angelou has a um, poem that says, Still I Ride. So out of all of the horrible things that we've been through, taken from our land, um, we, we also, before we were taken from our land, we had communities of our own. We, we, were, we had African communities. We had things that we were, basically, we had, um, I guess, we, we've had, I don't know what to say, but we were more intelligent. We had libraries, we had institutions, we had all of these things in Africa, whether it's West Africa, or whether it's Egypt. We had all these things. People don't know that though. Alright. The pyramids. They weren't just in Egypt. They were all over Africa. We, we sailed to America before you know Columbus did. People don't know that though. I mean so that's why I always say to you. You have to learn your history. If you don't you won't know. You won't know El Yanga. And his slave rebellion that he had in Mexico. You won't know of Toussaint L'Overture. You won't know of, you know, M Hotel, first multi genius. You won't know of um, Benjamin Banneker, who basically created Washington, D.C., as, as we have it now. I mean, hopefully, that's why I constantly come at you and say, study to show thyself approved. Like, always keep your head in that book. It's always stuff that you want to know. So, Thank you for tuning in. So hopefully you have these tight conversations, letting them know the horrors of slavery, letting them know that, yeah, we were important and yeah, we're constantly important. And yes, you must know your history because a people without knowledge of their history is like a tree without roots. And what does that mean? Oh, okay. Okay. All right. So, so what does, what does the people without history? Um, people without history is like a tree without roots. What does that mean? If you have no roots, that means what? Um, the tree will stop growing. It will stop growing. What up? If I cut the roots off the plant, it will grow. Nothing will die. It, it's dead. That means that's it. So, know those things. Thank you. And thank you for tuning in. Peace, love, and yeah, yeah. we're out. That's our nerve, um, nerve five. nerve five, and all that other good stuff. <laughs> hmm.